Hello everyone, welcome back to the Avalon Guns YouTube channel. My name's Jake. Once again, we're at the Mendip store we've got, which of course is our second store. We've got another one in the street, High Street. If you haven't visited either of the shops, please make sure you do. Um, you're welcome down as long as it's within open hours. I welcome down any time. In the Mendip store, you can try before you buy. So there's demo guns here that are brands, new models out to the market. There's also lots of pre-owned guns, which you can use here. Our own new guns can't be used because we don't want to start making our new guns pre-owned for you because the people that would like to buy a new one, they want them to be new. So there's lots of guns here to try. There's also a big shooting ground here with lots of different types of shooting you can do down the line, skeet, sporting, pro sporting, fit ask, loads of stuff you can do here. Air rifles as well. Um, on certain days of the weeks they even do archery and maybe axe throwing. Um, so if you want to do any of that, just come on down. Um, the shop here is open in line with the shooting ground, so it makes sense to visit both. There's also a cafe here as well. Uh, enough about that, so in today's video what we're going to be looking at is a very special Browning B25 custom side plate. So a little bit more unusual than a normal B25. Um, this one's been custom built from a standard B25 upwards to make it like what it does today. So this is a Browning, lots of Brownings they've made in Belgium for the handmade guns or Japan for the machine made guns, very very reliable, really good brand, good name out there in the market. A uh, comparable name is Beretta, the Italian uh, company that are in rivalry with Browning in this shop certainly. Um, Browning has lots and lots of fans though, especially at this shooting ground, a lot of Brownings and Marukus use which are um, the Japanese brands that are built on the same action. So this one we're looking at today is a B25, it's an older gun from the 80s. Um, the B25 would have started off as a plain action and then been built at some stage after it was produced and supplied new to look how it does today. So there's lots of upgrades on this gun which would be very expensive to be put on at the factory. Um, this one is available right now as the video is shown on our website so if you'd like more information on it you have to message us or visit the website along with lots of other stuff on our website that you can get great prices on um, so this one is available at a really good price um, the price of these is probably the best time ever to buy a b25 because they're all very well priced they're all great value um, i actually use one myself every now and then so i do like them myself i've always been a big fan purely because my granddad started me shooting on a b25 and other japanese guns like winchester he had them because they're always very reliable so into this gun first thing you'll notice on the stock you've got a semi pistol grip stock so that means it's a rounded pistol grip so it's not got the full pistol grip with a flat edge it's a rounded pistol grip it's also got really fine cut checkering, so it's really nice grip, nice and fine, it feels smooth in the hand, but it has still got grip there. So you've got fine checkering on the forend and matching on the stock. You've got a nice edge border all the way around, which is really hard to see for the camera to pick up, but there's just a border on the outside, um, leaving a bit of a mark between the normal woods and then the checkered woods, makes it stand out. This is walnut, so it's upgraded to walnut woods, as you can see, nice dark figure all around and there's a lot of small gun on this side so nice grade wood on these being a side plate and all the work that's gone into it they're not going to leave it plain so it's nice woodwork it's also had a kickies pad put on the end so the kickies brand they're really soft recoil brand recoil pads um, they all come oversized once again these are available on our website we can post them out to you if you order one they come oversized they come too big for the stock you shave them down to fit your stock um, that can be done professionally it can be done by some people at home i can't do it myself but gunsmiths can do it for us they shave it down to fit the stock perfectly and you get this smooth finish like it's factory and meant to be there so that's got a kickies pad it's also got a spacer here it's a great bit more length um, the length of pull on this one's 14 and three quarters length of pull on the shotguns they're measured from the trigger to the end at the center of the pad it's not from the start of the wood to the end of the wood so that's always a good tip to tell you. Um, other features we've got on a normal gun, you'll get a safety which moves forward and back. This one moves left and right, so you can choose which barrel fires first. Of course, the other barrel will fire second, you have to switch it across. So that can shoot either under barrel first or move it across, it shoots over barrel first, then under. Why you'd want to do that is if you've got a different choke in each barrel, you might want to have the tighter choke 
far in first, or vice versa, you switch it across and have the more open choke far in first. That is also a multi choke, we'll go to that in a second. So, moving up from there, we've talked about the pads, the woods, the grip, and the checker in. We're now up to the action. So, we've got a side plate action on this one. So, it's built on a box lock B25, but you've got the extra side plate here, which is covered in game scene engraving. So, we've got partridge on one side and you switch over to this side, you've got some ducks, there's mallard on that side as game scene engraving. It's also covered in nice scroll engraving, which is actually very deep on this one. Lots of the B25 customs have light scroll engraving, this is quite deep. On the underside there's a woodcock, and then it continues the scroll engraving on the trigger guard. The, the trigger on this one, that's been upgraded to one with checkering, so you've got grip on there, so it, it matches the checkering on the woodwork. If you can see there, there's grip on that trigger. Top lever is also engraved. When you open the barrels, you can see the ejectors are separate, so that means it's an ejector model, so they'll punch the cartridges out once you've fired the gun. Closing that one up, moving to the forend. The forend's a sliding forend with a lever here. Press the lever in, that folds out like a B25 would do. The forend slides up, it doesn't come off the barrel, and then cock the top lever and the action rolls away from the barrels. Four end is stuck on there, that can be shut and set. So it can go inside a case, it locks back in, and it can be stored away easy or put inside the case very easily. Again, pull the lever out, slide the four end up, and you can put this, this just rolls back onto the action really easy. Bottom piece here goes in, slides in, and clicks in, really easy to put together. Um, Moving to the barrels, so they're B25 barrels of course, you've got solid side ribs and a solid top rib with a game rib, so you've got an 8mm rib on there, that's a game rib, it's actually tapered from 8 to 6, so it goes down towards the end, it's a lot more narrow, um, which gives you a nice pitch when you're looking down the barrel, it's nice to look down a barrel that's got a tapered rib. Finally, the last thing to show you, this has T chokes inside, so really difficult to see because they haven't got big notches for the choke key. Choke keys are tapered on the T guns. The, the choke key just sits in there, grips onto them. That comes with a set of four chokes. You can get more chokes made by T, um, so that's included with the gun, along with a case, a carry case, so it's got everything you need. It's a really nice gun to go in any collection. And that's all the information on it. If you'd like to see more information on it, please let us know. We'll be happy to help. And thank you for watching this video.